Recall that we can change any subtraction problem into an addition problem by negating the second argument and replacing the plus with a minus like this. If we have a minus b, this is the first argument, this is the second argument, this can be changed into the addition problem a plus minus b. And um, so if we're doing binary arithmetic, we can avoid doing subtraction by changing it to an addition problem and turning our second number to a negative number. So you guys have seen previously in this class that we can do that using one's complement, two's complement, or the sign and magnitude convention. So first let's talk about how to do this using one's complement. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to let this be C. And C is going to be the answer to my subtraction problem, which I'm changing into an addition problem using one's complement. Um, uh, an advantage to doing this is that if we can avoid using subtraction, we don't have to mess with that awkward borrowing. And there actually ends up being a hardware advantage also because the circuitry to um, implement addition and carrying is a little bit more um, simple, less complicated than um, borrowing. So to use one's complement to make negative b, we have to invert all the bits of b. Um, and there's going to be kind of two cases that we have to deal with depending on if this addition produces um, a carry bit. So let me show you the cases. Case one is if the addition C is equal to A plus a negative B does not produce a carry bit. Then the formula to decode the solution C is just um, C will be negative one's complement, like the inverse kind of, of A plus one's complement of B. Okay, so this is the problem we do here. We negate B to turn it into a negative number. We add it to A and then we do one's complement on it to kind of flip it back in sign and then put a negative in front of it. So that's case one. If we do this addition and there's no carry bit, this is kind of how we decode our answer. Case two, case two is when the addition problem C is equal to A plus negative B does produce a carry bit. Okay, so if this addition problem does produce a carry bit, then um, in order to decode our answer, we just do A plus one's complement of B, and then we add one. Um, this plus one, it's basically the wraparound addition of our carry bit. So let me show you in some examples of how this works. Okay, so for example one, let's do an example of um, a subtraction with one's complement that does not produce a carry bit. So this one's gonna fall under case one. All right, so let's suppose we want to subtract one, one minus one zero one zero one zero zero. Okay, so we're gonna subtract one zero 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 one one minus one zero one zero one zero zero. Okay, so the process here is we're going to replace this with the negative of our B argument. Okay, so we're gonna do one's complement of one zero one zero one zero zero. We don't do one's complement of both the numbers, only the second one, because this one stays 
um, in the original state, and this is the one we want to change the sign of in order to change this problem into this problem. Okay, so we're only changing the sign of our second argument, the second number. Great, so one's complement is straightforward. We just invert all the bits. So this result is 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. Great, so now um, this is going to be my negative b. So I now have an addition problem. a plus negative b is going to be 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1 plus 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. So I'm going to just stack these up and then do a column by column binary addition. So this gives me 1 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1, carry the 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. So here's my result. I have no carry at the end, so that's going to be case 1. Um, that means that in order to get my answer C, I'm going to have to do negative 1's complement of A plus 1's complement of B. Okay, so this inside here is what I just did, right? I took A, I added it to 1's complement of B, and the result I got for this thing was 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. So now in order to get my answer C, I have to do one's complement of this result that I just got and put a negative in front of it. Okay, so that's going to be um, a negative one's comp of this thing will give me negative zero, zero, one, zero, 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 one. Okay. So after doing one's complement on this binary number, this is my result. So if I were to convert this to decimal, this ends up being negative 17. And now I can do um, a check in decimal. I like to do these decimal checks just because um, I, I believe that I can do this subtraction problem in decimal. I am not as confident in my ability to do this in binary because binary is not my native number system. So it's a good habit to get into to do these checks. So um, this first number, 1000011 in decimal is 67. Um, the second number, 1010100 in decimal is 84. So if I do this subtraction problem, I would expect to get negative 17. Um, and that is indeed what I got from using this process um, with one's complement. Um, so this is case one. Let's look at an example subtraction problem that will fall under case two. So the second example for the second example, let's subtract. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay, so this is the same problem we did before, but I'm reversing the order of my arguments because I know that this is now the larger number, and I'm trying to subtract a, um, I'm trying to subtract, now this is the larger, this is going to be my 84, and this is my 67, whereas before I had 67 minus 84, and I ended up with, a negative number. So let's see what happens when we switch these around. The previous case did not produce a carry bit. This one is going to fall under case two. So it is going to produce a carry bit. So check this out. Um, I want to do one's complement of my second argument, one zero 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 one one. So that gives me 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. And this is my negative b that I created. So now my subtraction problem is now an addition problem, a plus a negative b, 
So that's going to be my A number is 1010100. Zero, one, zero, one, zero, zero. My B number is, my negative B is 0111100. Zero, one, 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 zero, zero. So I stack these up and I add them straight down. Column by column, the binary addition gives me 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1, 1 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1, carry the 1, 1 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1, and 1 plus 1 is 0, and here is our carried 1. Okay, so under case 2, to get our answer C, to sort of decode it, the formula is A plus 1's complement of B plus 1. And like I mentioned before, this plus 1, it's like you can imagine you're taking this um, overflow carry bit and you're just going to wrap it around and you're going to add it to the least significant bit, just like that. Okay? So C is going to be... Um, this result here is what we just got from our addition. This is 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then we're just going to add 1 to it. This gives us 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay, so if I do my check in decimal, I have that... Um, my binary number 1010100 in decimal is 84. My number 1000011 in decimal is 67. So if I do this subtraction, I expect my result to be a positive 17. Um, if I convert 17 into binary, I'm going to get 0, 0, 001, 0, 0, 0, 001. Okay, so um, this is indeed the result that we got from using our case 2 formula for 1's complement um, binary subtraction. So um, next we'll look at how to do this for um, using 2's complement. It's going to be a pretty similar, but again, we have to do a little bit of footwork just to decode our answer because of the definition of these um, complement processes.